It is the 10th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I went to the economy mode on my camera. I'm going to try to save some upload time. Uh, if it's too big of an inconvenience, please let me know. It just saves me a little time, and it's not like I'm showing you a bunch of graphics anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and start on SOP.net tonight. West Texas earthquake is second in state in three days. The U.S. Geological Survey website shows the 3.4 magnitude quake happened at 12.47 p.m. Friday and was centered 15 miles north of Snyder in West Texas. The area is 60 mi 68 miles southeast of Lubbock. You know, that's not a normal area for them. I wonder what the frack's going on. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, November 21st, 5.9 earthquake near Myanmar sets off a series of mud volcanic eruptions. Uh, an earthquake has caused underground water temperatures to rise, setting off volcano eruptions of mud and small amounts of lava in the region also known as Burma. Retired geologist uh, said volcanoes in the township area were set off along a fault line. More volcanic mud eruptions might occur, he said, but there's no danger or need for mass evacuations. They're saying they're going to get a whole bunch of new hot springs and that kind of thing. Three earthquakes strike Gorda Plate near Northern California. Uh, 3338 and a 4.0. Uh, off to the drums of war. Uh, apparently the Israelis are to begin national drills simulating dirty bomb attack on Jer Jewish nation. Uh, the economy, surreal moment, a treaty to save the euro may end up splitting Europe and that's because Britain said I don't think so. And Drone reigns abrupt end Pakistan to deploy air defense weapons on Afghanistan border. Uh, they're putting up anti-aircraft um, units to counteract uh, the November 26th attack uh, from NATO on their troops. They're no longer feeling secure on their western border for some reason. Over to the watchers, extreme weather events are a harbinger of what's to come. Scientists say it's a global warming thing. We might disagree, but they admit it will get worse. A record number of costly weather events from from floods, droughts, to tornadoes ravaged the United States in 2011. Federal scientists said on Wednesday continued that the unprecedented number of disasters may not be an aberration. We have good reason to believe that what happened this year is not an abnormal, is not an ab anomaly, but instead, let me click over. but instead is a harbinger of what is to come. And basically the story goes on um, bringing up the fact that the poles are moving and uh, we are having a climate flux situation going on. All things that I've covered on this channel over the last two years. Uh, over to the RSOE. Of course we got the extreme weather coming out of Europe, Ireland, United Kingdom, uh, Finland's reporting. Uh, what else is going on? Of course, we got the volcanoes going on. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Volcanic activity in Japan. Uh, Saka, Sakura Jima. Um, that's the very active volcano. Apparently, had over 800 eruptions this year. It's a record number. And of course, the volcanoes in Miramar. Those are the mud ones, and the ones in Central America, of course, uh, that are still ongoing. Flash flooding in Australia, Queensland, Roma. Uh, flooding on Australia continues in New South Wales. Uh, the communities of uh, Urala and uh, a few others that I'm not going to slur the names of. Uh, what else? That is about it climate wise. Uh, we have a nuclear event off the RSOE, the Saga Prefecture, the Genka Nuclear Power Plant Number 3 Reactor. Uh, apparently one of the pumps had a leak uh, that was ongoing a, for a while. Um, the power company says that the leak did not escape. They stored it all in a big tank, but they went ahead and shut down the nuclear reactor. And uh, the local communities 
pretty upset that uh, they were notified right away. Over to the ENE news, the nuclear stuff. Uh, AP nuclear fuel moved as it melted. Little known about location and condition of reactor cores. Limit info on spent fuel pools. Strange former editor of Japan Times Weekly concerned about mutated raccoon dogs attacking humans. These are animals I'm really worried about after Fukushima. They put up a video as far as uh, these Godzilla mutations that might be taking place due to all this radioactivity. A researcher, indoor air filter just north of Tokyo, contaminated with 230 um, picuries per foot squared during September. We're finding radiation increasing in the food chain. And they've got to buy it. Cleaned areas can become recontaminated by dust from hot spots. Notice city house filters um, are picking up radiation despite generally lower air levels. And update on uh, Fukushima reactors number one and two have holes up to 50 square centimeters. Uh, analysis says biggest hurdle now is filling with water caused by hydrogen explosions. Half a million pounds of highly radioactive fuel inside reactors one through three. Half a million pounds. <sighs> Government study radiation levels in, in children in a close-by city exceed annual limits set by the government. And these are these uh, uh, inflated limits that they post Fukushima. Uh, Gunderson, biggest fear remains very precarious spent fuel pool number four collapsing in another earthquake. And uh, we've all seen pictures of that. Japan professor is under attack after saying Fukushima farmers are trying to kill me. And um, nuclear expert, Fukushima radiation still spreading. It hasn't stopped yet. Enormous amount is in the mountains and is coming down. Uh, so the river basins are just being saturated with the runoff um, from all this radiation. That is about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. I uh, hope you had a good day today. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.